Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of a blue corner, that intentionally splits, go! And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, Dynamite! Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight, touch gloves, and let's come out boxing. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Turn the sender with the left hand. <laughs> Takes one but gives one. Good work by Klitschko. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. Klitschko's got the right idea right here. He cannot be swarmed and smothered like it's a wet blanket with his opponent draped on him. He needs to create that space. He has to push off. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight. But... They're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight and you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. Nice block by bad intentions. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by Dynamite. Final 10 seconds. Klitschko's doing a good job there. He has a great sense of his identity. He knows he's got a fight on the outside, and creating that space is the way to do it. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to cover up that gut. Pulls the trigger fast. Good looking counter punch. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Come on, side to side. Blocked by bad intentions. Oh, 
parries that punch intended for the head. Good block by bad intentions. Halfway through round number two. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Klitschko. Goes much better on the outside, much better when he has some space and he's at long range. So pushing off here, creating space is the right thing to do. his mark there going upstairs and a sharp counter punch by Klitschko Eddie is it possible that he didn't respect this fighter coming into the fight now I know a lot of people would say yeah he's ahead on the scorecards but you can just see the style of fight that this is bad he's being tested yeah I think it's a combination of two things this guy being better than his record would indicate and what you touched on that he's a human being like anybody else. We look at the guy's record, we think of what kind of fight it's going to be. He looked at it, he thought it was going to be a little easier than it's turning out. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Nice block by Dynamite. What a good counter punch by Klitschko. Klitschko's putting that old boxing theory to work. And that's carry that walking stick and it'll take you far. Yeah, you're talking about that jab. He's doing a good job. But, you know, the jab's not enough. You have to be educated with where to use the jab from. And that's what he's doing a good job with. If you throw a jab from too close, you can get time with the jab killer, the right hand. He's throwing that jab from the right distance, where he's all the way outside where his opponent cannot counter with the right hand. Well-placed counterpunch by Klitschko. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? Use your feet. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Punched by Dynamite. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Lands the counter. Seconds. Come 
Klitschko's got the right idea right here. He cannot be swarmed and smothered like it's a wet blanket with his opponent draped on him. He needs to create that space. He has to push off. Here we go with the fourth round. Blocks the headshot. A crushing two-punch combo by Klitschko. Klitschko's making for a clinic here in combination punching. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Back up top he goes. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good work. Two clean shots get in by Klitschko. A little defense turns to offense by Klitschko. Nice block by Klitschko. Good combination to the head. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Good block. Dynamite's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Oh boy, he is stunned badly. He is staggered on, and hurt and could go down. Teddy, what do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner? Well, if it was a baseball game, I'd be yelling for rain <laughs> right now. I, I want this stop. But what he has to really get is a way to clinch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Targeted counter punch by Dynamite. Ten seconds remaining in this round. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing. And remember what set up those big shots. Klitschko's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great shins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Halfway through this round. Well 
place counter punch by Klitschko. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you are forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. The combo lands upstairs. Yeah, by Klitschko. Klitschko's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Dynamite starting to bleed from the nose. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. And a well-targeted combination by Klitschko. Good exchange, he fires back. A little defense turns to offense by Klitschko. Klitschko's proving here that you can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting forth. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. Klitschko's fighting real smart here on the outside. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. away his opponent's shot we come to the end of this round Teddy a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys well it depends what kind of style what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses if I had a guy who likes to box who likes to counter punch I want a guy coming at him not with a lot of TNT in his gloves but coming forward where my guy is well suited he can pick him off a little bit
Nice block by Klitschko. Klitschko's showing some swelling now. Dynamite's in a real tough spot now with that cut. Able to dismiss it. Another right hand comes in. Good exchange. He fires back. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. by Klitschko. Klitschko's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have my head in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. There he goes with the right hand again. Glitch goes, just being smart on the outside. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. That's a good block by bad intentions. Oh, good stuff there. Two in a row by Klitschko. Dynamite sitting here wondering why he's getting hit so much. How about this? You're not moving your head at all. Well, how about don't wonder about it? You weren't taught that probably in the gym. You didn't work on that in the gym. Well, it's not going to come to you suddenly when you're in the arena. Accurate counter punch by Klitschko. one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say tune in everybody should be watching this right i have a cell phone i might do that right now <laughs> start dialing excellent counter punch by klitschko So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. And there he counters back against his opponent. 
Klitschko's cut, man, is going to need to be all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes. Well, it's the same thing here. you got to get to this eye before the swelling's there. you got to put that end swell, that cold piece of metal, onto that place early on. Nice block by Klitschko. Oh, Klitschko's almost out of it there. He was stunned. So far tonight, he was being completely outworked, but now we see him being more the aggressor. Ball was starting to get a little late. He understood he needed to change things a little. Dynamite's corner will really need to get after that swelling. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Counterpunch. I think it has come to that point. He's behind on the cards. He's just got to be. Going to take a knockout to win this? Yeah, I think so. And it's going to take a certain kind of attitude or strategy, a change in strategy. You go into the fights, you don't look for a knockout. You're looking to use your jab. You're looking to set up punches. You're looking to go around. Right now, he's got to find a way to get a knockout. Look for one punch. One big punch right now. Good return fire that time. And a smart counter punch by Klitschko. Klitschko's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Klitschko. Good scoring counterpunch by Dynamite. Dynamite's vision is being compromised here. That swelling around the eye is worsening as the fight continues. Well, right now, he has to use every advantage he can. You're right. He's at a disadvantage. So now, he has to position himself in the ring. Every inch of that ring where he keeps his opponent in a place where he can't throw punches towards the bad eye. Where he positions himself where the good eye is always in a place where it could be used. up along the belt line blocks that one solid counter punch by Klitschko Klitschko's holy cow he is not in good shape he could be on the deck he goes down oh he may be close here can he survive the round up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy and he returns on that exchange and that's what fighters do pulls the trigger right away after taking one well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision.
staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. by Klitschko. Klitschko's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. <laughs> what a great round. Two minutes in. 60 seconds to go. Good block by Klitschko. got a real problem and he knows it because that eye is worsening and if it seals all the way shut if it's swollen that badly we could see a stoppage in this fight yes we can and right now what should be seen is the corner of his opponent should see that advantage and a fighter needs to see that advantage if he's told that and move to the right place move to the side and throw the kind of punches that can take advantage of that eye being closed the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner. We were able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay their cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people keeping his hands up getting way of his opponent's effort canvas once again he's gotten up before what about this time Everybody but his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.